Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Rank Roulette series. We kicked off in our first episode yesterday. If you missed that and would like to go back and check that out, do click up here, check out the matches. And then come back into this one. We've got a crazy team selection that was nominated by you guys, selected by the roulette. And you can see it on your screen in front of you now. As always, the team is down in the description below. There is a roll pace, poker pace. And we're doing this to have a little bit of fun. Remember, tomorrow's episode, we can activate these roulette bonus buttons if we would like to going forward. But we're going to hold off for the time being. And we'll just recap the team before we get into today's episode. So we've got the Chandelier. We've got the Mantine. The Houndoom. The Superior. Sogalea. And Shuckle. A bunch of Pokemon I'm not used to seeing in a team, but... Nonetheless, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really kind of getting fond of this team already. It feels really good. I think the one thing that we do lack massively more than anything else is some sort of redirection to help that chandelier set the trick room up. If we could get something like that, then that'd be great. So maybe we do do a switch up at some point. We'll go with Aether Foundation to kick us off today. That would be good. Some fake out support would be very good as well. It is awkward playing around nearly every team that does have fake out primarily Incineroar. Obviously we've got some issues with Incineroar. We've got Sogaleo that can deal with it pretty handily but um if we come up against combinations of things that are pretty difficult, then things get a little bit tricky. But we've got our first opponent of the episode, so we'll hop straight into team preview and see how we get on in this one today. Okay, so our first opponent today is running a team of God of Wars, probably the mega on the team. And then you've got Incineroar, Bronzong, then the Tapu Fini, the Kyogre, and the Duskmane Necrozma. It could be Ultra Necrozma, but may just be regular old Duskmane Necrozma. Now... Ah, I do feel like Shuckle could be a Pokemon that is going to be quite good here. My opponent probably does want to go for that Trick Room at some point to support things like the Kyogre, maybe the Duskmane, the Necrozma. So I do feel like that is something I would like to go for. Um, I'm going to lead Superior. I think Superior here does really well against Kyogre, does really well against the Tapu Fini. We've got Taunt as well to shut things down if we so choose to. Um... I think Chandelier is not bad as well, actually. Uh, it does help against the God of War, obviously, the, the, the Bronzong. Um, not so much the Incineroar. Mantine's a nice switch in there. And then, do we leave Sogaleo at home? I can't believe I'm saying this. I really, I'm not too sure. But if we go Trick Room, we need... Maybe we don't bring Superior up top. Maybe we bring Mantine, Chandelier, and then we go Shuckle. And then Sogaleo is our last one. And then we lock in with those. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll see. How I just I'd love to I'd love to be able to capture what my opponent faces like when they when they see team preview and they're like, what what is this? What is this I'm playing? <laughs> what is this? What is this combination? What is this team trying to do? Well, we don't really know what this team is trying to do. But I don't mind this lead too much because we can probably get in our shuckle pretty safely for free here by wide guarding. Wide guard. Wide guard and let them set the trick room up, maybe. Um, or we could potentially just get some damage onto the Bronzong and see if they do set the trick room up. Um, I think that's what we'll do. We'll go for the Shadow Ball into the Bronzong. And we will go for a wide guard of our own. Just to protect against this Kyogre's water spots, origin pulses, things that are going to really not be great. Ooh, Thunder. That Wackenberry coming in super <laughs> handy right now. We will be able to take this. It takes about 60-70% damage. Uh, but Mantine going to be able to stick around for at least another turn. That was a critical hit. That's crazy. Chandelier putting some damage onto the field now with the bronze on. Gonna take it down to just about 50% health. Trick room. We're in the money, my friends. We're in the money. So here we go. Right. Um, probably gonna see another thunder here. Do we switch in? Shuckle. Chuckle. 
Shuckle the Chuckle. So we'll, we'll switch in Shuckle. We'll wide guard again. We'll probably lose Mantine here, but getting Shuckle on the field in a trick room is what we want. This is this is exactly what it's all about. Bronze, I'm going to switch out. I'm going to see God of War hit the field. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep Chandelier around for a little bit later. If we do see Mantine go down to another Thunder hit, we're going to see Flash Fire. Oh, okay, tracing that. Shuckle hitting the field. Do we see another Thunder? Or do we see go for a water type attack? Potentially. Origin Pulse. Okay, so we get away with that one. Gonna get Mantine on the like, sticking around on the field for another turn. It means we are gonna get this power trick off with our Shuckle. And uh, we will go for another another wide guard just to get around this Kyogre. It's got Origin Pulse, it hasn't got Scald, so as long as we can keep uh, the pressure on with these these wide guards and that's great god of war known for having hyper voice i doubt it goes for it i think it probably goes psychic here maybe where it goes for the psychic is another thing though and i wonder if it under speeds kyoga power trick though here we go little shuckle just get through this turn shuckle that's all we need you to do that's all we need you to do god of war that side shock okay that's perfect Yes, come on, please be Origin Pulse. Please be Origin Pulse. <laughs> yes, Shuckle will set you up. <laughs> We've done it. Okay. Um, uh, do we bring Sogaleo onto the field and just wide guard? We put a bit of pressure onto that God of War as well. Uh, Rock Slide's going to do a chunk of damage to everything. Uh, and we will just go for that Rock Slide now. And uh, wide guard, just for just to be safe, just to be safe, we'll go for wide guard right now. Definitely. So, right, God, we're gonna retreat because it's threatened by the Sogaleo. Bronze, I'm gonna come out. Bronze, I'm still gonna take a chunk from this, these, uh, these rocks. Like, oh, we're gonna see Kyogre just protect now. That's fine. Don't mind that. So, we'll just waste a wide guard here. And I mean, one of the things about like stalling out these trick room turns. Is it's it's all right. Sorry if you can hear baby in the background. I think Althea's a little bit upset, and and Tash has left my my studio door open, so we can hear full force. We're gonna go for a rock slide again. Um, we'll continue going for wide guard. I think we could probably catch my opponent off guard here and maybe get an attack off. It is the last turn of trick room, so I'm I'm gonna go for the Z splash here. And yeah. We should be in a really good position if we don't see my opponent go for an Origin Pulse here. Oh, it's not doing as much damage as I kind of expected it to do, but it's doing enough. Okay, there's the Thunder. That's what we kind of expected. Where's it going to be into? Shuckle. Okay, we take that like a champ. And then we get the Z. Yes, we get the Z splash off. <laughs> this team is ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to get this off. This is going to be good. We're plus three now. So Gleo in a really nice position to get that um, that Kyogre the next turn. Dimensions turn back to normal. I mean, we kind of would prefer the Dimensions to go twisted again, but it's fine. We'll super part into the Kyogre. We'll get rid of it there. Uh, ooh, ally switch. Not so good. Not so good. Not so good. Super part will get rid of the bronze on. Uh, that's the one thing we didn't think of. Hmm. Do lose Shuckle here. Oh, I don't want to lose Shuckle. Origin Pulse. Yeah, we're going to lose Shuckle, I think. Hmm. I'm going to take a chunk on Sogaleo. Uh, Origin Pulse, not kind. We've got Chandelier as our last one. So, ooh, Necrozma. Hmm. It's going to be Ultra Necrozma. For sure. Now we do have wide guard. Hmm. Do we shut a ball? I think we just shut a ball. I think we just super power. Ah, uh, the, the ally switch totally screwed us there. Ah, uh, we could have just. Whoa, we should have wide guarded and, and rock slid. I'm not too upset because I mean we've got the, the basics. We've got like the majority of things off this game. They just haven't been executed. It's just because we haven't got the right. The, the, the best support options around us, Earth Power coming out, yeah, and that's going to be it. You could have wide guarded there, um, but it might not have been Ultra Necrozma. 
as Origin Pulse, and this will be enough to take down Shandy, I'd imagine. Yeah, and that's game over like that so quickly. These Pokemon fall so frail, but they did their best. We cannot be sad about them. Good game to my opponent. <sighs> it's all good though. I feel like this week is the testing week where we, we put our ideas together. We formulate ideas to take into next week because like I've said already, one of the things about uh, the rules with this, this series is we can't change Pokemon without activating a button or a special condition. But we can change sets and we can change items at any point that we want to really. My friend Hal, we'll go with that music to kick us off here. Uh, we've got our next opponent, so straight into it and we'll get into Team Another Trick Room team, this time consisting of Rayquaza, Tapu Fini, Stack Attacker, Groudon, Incineroar, and Mega Slow. Well, it could be Mega Slow Brawl, it's probably just regular old Slow Brawl. Uh, two Trick Room Pokemon here with the Stack Attacker Slow Brawl, so you're going to see probably a lot of Trick Room here, which we don't mind. Again, kind of wants me to bring this Shuckle. It really does. I really want to bring this Shuckle. Um, I think we need Sogaleo just to deal with the Rayquaza, if I'm like. Uh, like completely honest with you I just <sighs> otherwise it just gets so difficult um, now do we go Mantine or do we go Houndoom like Houndoom's really good um, against the majority of stuff except the Rayquaza I'm gonna go Houndoom as a lead though um, we'll go Shuckle in the back and I guess we need some alleviation from stuff, so Mantine's not the worst Pokemon here. Chandelure could be alright as well, but uh, I think the additional Wide Guard could be better than anything else. So we'll go with that, and um, we'll see how we can get on with this one. Yes, like I was saying, I think we'll formulate in, like how the team's playing this week, and then we can take on board my ideas any suggestions from you guys as well and make changes going into next week maybe activate a couple of buttons could do tomorrow couldn't we or maybe later in the week save it for later in the week and see what we can do i definitely feel like we need another restricted in the team for sure i feel like we're a little bit short at the minute relying heavily on on sogaleo um do i bring in shuckle because i feel like the trick room is going to get set up. I could just... Um, hmm. could pull a double switch, to be honest. Like, bring in Mantine. And then bring in Shuckle. Or I could just super part. No, do it. Yeah. I feel like you're going to you're gonna fake out the Silver Layer slot. So I'll bring in Shuckle. And I will go for... Should I get some damage onto the stacks as well? With just overheat so we'll mega evolve and overheat the stack attack just get some damage onto it it's going to be neutral obviously the rock kind of helping out with that steel weakness there but if we get some damage onto the stack attacker it'll be nice like overheat's never going to pick up the knockout but i don't see a faker coming into that slot because the sogaleo just threatens the stack attacker so hard with superpower so you have to fake out that slot really there it is, overheat, I'll get some damage, and then hopefully we see, um, wow, ooh, that was a crit, okay, uh, the trick room set up, yeah, there we go, okay, now we're in the money, okay, we can power trip with Shuckle, um, or we could just earthquake, or we could just protect and get Mantine onto the field, because then, we have Y guard support, which would be probably a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bring Mantine on into the into the scene. I know we'll probably take a rock slide from the stack attacker right now with Mantine, but it shouldn't take us down. And I want to be in a position with Shuckle where I can power trick and start doing some decent damage. Ooh, we're gonna see a gravity. Gravity. You turn, I reckon, from the Incineroar. Yeah, it's into the shuckle. So we're denying that uh, Groudon coming onto the field just just right now. So we'll power trick now. We will go for a wide guard. 
uh, which kind of makes Stack Attacker's only viable attack Jarable, which is not going to be hitting Shuckle very hard because we're so slow anyway and we resist it with the Mantine, so we're not in the worst positions. If we can pull out a victory in this one, I will be so happy. I'll be so happy with how like we can do stuff. So, why God? Well, we just need the Incineroar to go for the U-turn. Power Trick. There we go. And we've got Earthquake with Shuckle, so... Um, there's the Gyro Ball. Yeah, expecting maybe the White God. Doing decent damage. U-turn. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? <laughs> oh, this has all went so badly wrong. Oh, Shuckle went down to a U turn. I literally thought you will take heavy damage. The power trick's not the greatest there, but we should at least. We should at least be able to. Uh, to deal with it. No way. Let's get Houndoom in. Um, with the Wide Guard, we're pretty safe against Groudon's Precipice Blades. And we don't really care about Gyro Ball either. Solar Power is in effect now as well, so Dog Pulse should be doing a nice chunk to that Groudon. Man. Shuckle, you are so bad. You are so weak. I can't believe it. U turn. It's not even a stab. Attack. Gyro Ball. Mantine. Yeah. What are we going to see? Fire Punch. Mantine. <sighs> now he probably thinks. Our oh, White God's gone. It's not doing enough. It's not doing enough, really, is it? Um, we're gonna have to. Why God overheat? I think, and hope that we don't see a fire punch. And like, I hope my opponent doesn't think they're like, well, we've you've you've revealed Why God somewhere, so it's gone now. You're not gonna have Why God somewhere else, but we do, because we're just we have to. So we're just Team Why God right now. Can we? Jarrah Ball. Not going for that. Not. Oh, we're going to see a fire punch again, are we? No, the blades. Come on, overheat. Can we get rid of the Groudon? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Houndoom. <laughs> yes, Houndoom. <laughs> Bringing the party back to life. Good man. Excellent. Right. Sunline fades. Dimensions turn back to normal. We're in business. We're in business. It's business time. Okay, Incineroar. Um, but there is, like, there's still a lot to do. There is still a lot to do. we still got Fake Out to contend with and another Trick Room. And Rayquaza potentially in the back. Uh, I don't know if a Super Power will get the Incineroar. That's the thing. I feel like it will. I don't feel like we go Z Splash just yet. I just think we try and get the Super Power KO onto Incineroar. No Fake Out coming out. So we'll... Oh man, that does nothing. Oh, everything's so weak. How does Hound do? What? Throw Chop? Okay. I don't know if that would have KO'd otherwise, you know. Oh, it's because we took the drop. The overheat drop. Uh, the, there's no way we do anything now. We can't We can't do anything. But we, we, the only thing we can do is do Destiny Bond and take something down with us. It was looking so good at times. At points it was looking so good. But we're struggling. We are struggling. We might come back and activate a button tomorrow. Throw a chop. Yeah, and then at least we'll take the ja the, the stack attacker down with us. <sighs> good game to my opponent. Things are not looking so good for us right now. 
taking two. Uh, we've been in good positions in both games, just not being able to execute it. I mean, Shuckle going down the way it did in today's game. Terrible. Ter that's all I can say is terrible. But we're not going to get our hopes down too much just yet. We're only on episode two. We're only on day two with this team. We've got to give it a chance. We've got to find our rhythm with it. We might change some of the move sets up coming into tomorrow's episode. Now I'm gonna just take on board any comments that we've had now and take changes into it. We'll see where we can go with it coming into tomorrow's episode. So we don't have to activate those buttons just yet, but we might activate the buttons tomorrow, or at least one of them. We'll wait and see. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. As always, remember to drop a like on the video, do subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.